Hey everyone, Chang here. This is the practice problem video series. For today's video, we're gonna go over this problem as a standardized test kind of problem. Now, here's what we have. This is a semicircle, so basically a half of a circle. We have a triangle in the middle, and this indicates that it is a right triangle. Our job in this case is to find the area of the shaded region. Now, I'm using markers, so I didn't really shade it, but like right here, this area, this kind of like, I guess you could say dome shape, and this other dome shape right here. That's the area we wanna find. Now here's the thing about area that is wonderful and can be a little confusing at the same time. First and foremost, hearing area, it seems kind of scary, but notice it's sort of this, you can say blob or whatever you can fill in. With area, it's the same thing no matter what. Think about what you're doing. If you're getting a large blob and you're subtracting or adding, you're either adding parts of it or you're taking parts away. And that's all it is with area. In this case, we have a semicircle, so it's relating to a circle. We have a triangle inside, so that's like here, not shaded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the area of the semicircle, that means we would get the whole thing. Imagine if we got the whole thing and we just filled this all in, right? That's the entire area of the semicircle, but now we're taking everything that's red or that triangle out. Everything else that's left over is the area that we want. So that's what we're gonna do. First and foremost, several things. Area of a circle, remember, Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So what is r? That's what we have to find out first. Well, in this case, we have a triangle. We have a right triangle. So what we're going to do is use the Pythagorean theorem to find out what this, this length right here is. That's your hypotenuse. And it also will tell us what r is because guess what? It's a half circle, a semicircle, so this whole thing is a diameter, half of it is our radius. Now, let's see. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. Well, we know that there's three, four, and something else. And if you guys already remember and it's already screaming in your head, great, because that's just from experience. If not, we can figure it out, right? Three squared plus four squared equals C squared. Well, we know that three squared is nine plus four squared is 16 equals C squared, and that's 25 equals C squared. So that means that, guess what? C equals five, okay? This whole thing right here is five. So the radius is half of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it in. That's pi and r has half of five, so that's gonna be 2.5 squared. Now, uh, 2.5 times 2.5 is what? Uh, 6.25, so it's gonna be pi times 6.25. That's the area of a circle, okay? So I'm gonna er erase all this, and so that we have a little more area to work with, haha, <laughs> area. Okay, anyways, um, so, this is the area of a circle, but we're worried about a semicircle. So in other words, we have to divide this whole thing by two. Here we're gonna have pi 6.25 divided by two, which gives us what? Pi times uh, 3.125. Okay, uh, let's just do an X right here. All right, times, pi times 3.125. All right, excellent. So that's the area of a semicircle. Now, the last thing we need is to get rid of the red part, basically that triangle right there. Now remember, let's just go right here. Area of triangle is just one half base times height, which in this case is just one half, base is three, height is four. So one half, three times four, which is 12 times one half, which is gonna be six. Okay, now remember, this is the area of the semicircle now. Semicircle. This is the area of the triangle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the area of the semicircle subtract the area of the triangle. So let's just write that right here. Semi, uh, circle minus area of triangle. Triangle, okay? So, basically you have 3.125 pi subtract six, okay? Now, at this point, unless they have a 
calculator or you're allowed to use a calculator, then you can plug this in and then give a rough estimate of the number and the decimals. If not, this is basically your answer. This is as simple as it can get. And if you see this on a multiple choice, that is one you would choose. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.